so these are the three different cases in a situation where you have an amino acid with an uh, with 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 carboxylic group or side change like in the case of aspartic acid so what we are going to do is like look at it here we have a pke at lower ph of 3.65 and we have it at at a pke of 1.88 that is the R site carboxylic group. So now actually the 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 R site change carboxylic group have a PKA of 3.6 and that of actually the uh, alpha carbon is 1.88. And then of course for the amino group the PKA is 9.6. So since this is an acid, so that of the amino group is actually is not relevant. So it's not considering, we will not consider it. So then we are now going to use the PKA for both the carboxylic groups. So that is why the PI here is 1.88 plus 3.65 divided by 2. And of course, we have 2.77 as a PI, that is isoelectric point of the acid. But in the case of the neutral, of course, you are going to take the carboxylic group of, uh, you are going to take the PKA for the, for the carboxylic group and of course for the amino group. So that is where we have 2.34 for the carboxylic group and the 9.96 for the amino group. And we divide it by 2. So here we have 6.01. And then, of course, for the basic, then at this point, the PKA for the carboxylic group is not relevant. So you are not taking it. So that is where we have PKA here as 10.53. And then we have it here as... Uh, the PKE as 9.74. So we are taking for just the amino group. So we have PKE here as 10.53. And then here for PKE is 8.95. So we take them and we have average as 9.74. So we are neglecting that of the carboxylic group. So that is how we get the PKA for basic amino acids and then for the acidic amino acids and that of the neutral. So these are the two situations. So thank you. Uh, please subscribe to the channel.